Welcome back once again to the Mullet Family Channel, where we seek to ignite faith, hope, and purpose in living as an overcomer. Several of you have been asking to see more of our bus, so this week we're giving you the grand tour. But first, we have a little update. Our first music video is being edited this week, and it will be released one week from today. That's right, so you won't see a vlog this next week. Uh, we will be releasing the music video instead of our normal Tuesday vlogs. Stay tuned till the end to hear the announcement of last week's three giveaway winners. But for now, on with the tour. back in my parents' bedroom, which is one of the only rooms in the place that is actually private and you can close the door. Um, there's just enough space to walk behind the bed to get to the closet doors. And other than that, it's practically just a bed with a little um, nightstand. So that is the first space. It definitely takes a lot more working together in a space like this than normal, but it's also a lot of fun. And also, even though it gets messy faster, it's also faster to clean up. So Shantaya, take it away. Okay, so next is the hallway. There's four bunks for four different daughters. The top bunk here is Brianna's and the middle bunk here is Alicia's. There's two bottom bunks. I have the first one. It's right here. Let's see what's inside. And back here is my things. And then here, <laughs> right there is a light. And you see there's a receptacle there. We can plug in our walkie talkies, anything we need. So that's my bunk. And then here is my bunk. Car has your things back there. I have a light too. <laughs> and a receptacle. Receptacle too. And then uh, just above her bunk are these closets. These these are Brianna's and Alicia's. They share it. And these are mine and Kara's. This last cupboard here is for school supplies, etc. Car, do you want to show them the other part? Sure. Okay, so the other part that I'm going to show you is the shower room. So let's go inside. Okay, so this is where we shower. Of course, it's called the shower room. So it's really small, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that it isn't connected to the restroom because because it's like separate and if it was connected, it would like have to be um, like, hey, I need to get in to go to the bathroom. And then they'll be like, sorry, I'm showering. You can't come in. And so I'm so glad that we can like do it at the same time so that it doesn't take near as long. So, and it's kind of funny because the shower here, it is much like it has more space than the own floor, like the own space when you're out of the shower. And so that's kind of funny. And then the next room that I'm going to show you is the restroom. So in here, as you can tell, it's a beautiful little place. People always say, you've got such a little restroom, but you get used to it. And um, it is very pretty. Mom loves to make it pretty plants here and there. And what is very funny to me about this room is that um, it like, like in the mornings before Sunday starts or um, like right before a service, everybody's trying to get ready. And the first people go into the restroom and you try to be first because if you don't and you're a sleepyhead or are too late, then you um, like missed your turn and now it's gonna be a long time since you'll get your turn. So I don't like that very much. But of course, always our older sisters always get in first. So there's nothing I can do about that, which I don't like, but at least I actually have a turn. So I'm thankful for this little restroom. So now we are going to go out 
and I'll give the camera to Alicia. Next, I'll be showing you the washer and dryer and the kitchen where I spend a lot of my time. This is a full-size washer and dryer. We can do laundry while traveling down the road and we're very thankful we don't have to stop at laundromats. And this is our kitchen. Since we don't eat out a lot, we're thankful to have a full-size fridge and convection oven and stove. As you can see, the stove is set down in the counter. So that's really handy. I'm a mug person and I love my hot drinks. We place these mugs especially so that they won't hit each other while going down the road. We also use an instant pot that is something that's very, very handy for in small quarters. So that's the kitchen area. I'll let mom take it from here. Okay, this is a front of the bus. Opposite from the kitchen here is the table, the dinette area. And when I was um, designing the bus, one thing that was important to me was that we have lots of white, lots of um, light colors because it just makes it look bigger, makes it feel much bigger. And we just think they did a wonderful job in, in making that happen. The dinette here is where we eat and we the girls do their schoolwork here sitting at the table so it gets used every day. And so here in front of the dinette, you can see there's a full size uh, sofa and see the wooden uh, above the above the windows there, I really think that they did a beautiful job in creating that. There's a love seat here on the other side, and you know people ask me, how do you keep it clean? And one of the things, you know, because of our children had their heart transplants um, and they have we had weakened immune systems, I guess I saw dirt through the lens of germs, and so I would rather be able to see the dirt and know what needs to be clean than to try to hide it. Uh, but we really, we love the white and we do have two rules though. One is that the shoes stay at the front of the bus. We don't walk through with the with shoes on. And also the girls do not have pens or markers uh, at the tables or at the dinette. So we are very grateful for how the bus turned out and it's amazing blessing to be able to travel in, in this. There's also, if you can see here, when the slide, there's a full size slide here. When that comes in, it comes to about right, if you see that black uh, strip there in the floor, it comes out that far, it extends over that just a bit. So when we're traveling, there's just a walkway through here. But when we have the slide out, it really opens it up and it f makes it feel much more like a home. So I will pass it on to Dwayne now and he will show you the front of the bus where we, as we're traveling, in fact, this seat right here behind me, you can see there used to be an entertainment center there and they made the little seat out of that. So that seat and the passenger seat especially are the seats of choice as we're traveling. That's right. That's right. Now for my favorite part of the bus, it is right up front in the driver's seat here. And I've spent many hours in this driver's seat heading down the road. It's a 45 foot coach and has a lot of weight. So, uh, you know, starting out, it starts out slower, uh, but then you gotta give plenty of stopping space. And uh, a number of different controls here. Up here, we have the generator information and the gauges for the generator, tire pressure monitor, and the, um, inverter information and then just uh, numerous controls here for locking the undercarriages and the generator start and stop the allison six speed transmission and that control is right there on the uh, steering column and then starting the bus is right here and uh, uh, it is just a, an amazing vehicle to be able to travel in so I would like to uh, start it, crank the bus here to be able to get the air build up and uh, that we can begin bringing the slide in. And 
And then moving outside of the bus, this is my uh, favorite part of the vehicle. And uh, it's a commercial vehicle and we are so grateful for that. Uh, commercial is just solid and really built for what we do. Uh, this first compartment, the first two compartments are for our equipment. And uh, the, uh, we have a ramp here, Fat Glick Conversion. John Glick and his family built us a ramp uh, that we can push our carts right up into the undercarriages, our equipment. Uh, whole, uh, we can push it in there after a service. And uh, then we have uh, several compartments here. Um, actually, here is our holding tank. And it has the fresh water and the gray water and the black water. So good size holding tanks. And then some of you uh, mechanics will be more interested in the back part of the uh, bus here. The engine compartment, it's a 60 series Detroit, Detroit engine. So it has about 180,000 mile on it. So it's not that many mile as of yet. And that's the big engine there that pushes us down the road. Just crank it in. <laughs> Pretty amazing, a vehicle like this that we can travel in when it's a home away from home. There's many, many features that make it very, very uh, convenient for the amount of miles that we have done over the years. And then this compartment is the, um, we have the hot water heater and, uh, and then I have 150 foot of hose on that reel that I can just unwrap. And uh, many years I wrapped hoses and stuck them in compartments, but I'm very glad for that reel there that helps us to uh, get water, get water efficiently. And then we have our battery compartment and there's inverters and so we can, when it's cold especially, um, in fact, in this compartment, the water heater aqua hot, it keeps this unit very warm, even in very, very cold temperatures. So it's just a commercial vehicle, heavy, but built to do the type of travel that we do. So that's it, our home away from home, where we have spent about seven out of 12 months in previous years. Let's go outside to get some final thoughts. So it's giveaway time, but first... We'd like to thank each of you who commented on last week's vlog and introduced yourselves to our family. We just really enjoyed getting to uh, meet each of you. We randomly selected three winners from those that participated and each of those winners will receive four of our latest projects, latest albums, and we're excited to announce that the winners are... Okay, so we are ready to draw the three names for our giveaway winners. And we are here with the names of those that entered in the giveaway and uh, all the names are right here. And it was an amazing blessing to be able to hear from so many people that responded. In fact, some of them uh, we've been, I would have met back before we were married, back in the late 80s. And then also from uh, Norway, from Austria, and uh, Japan, different uh, places, people mm -hmm. that, uh, that entered and participated in the process. So now we're going to choose the three winners who will be receiving these four CDs. And so, Shantaya, are you ready to start with our first one? Yep. Start drawing the first name. Let me mix it up first. All right, mix, 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 and? The first winner is? Servant Warrior. Servant Warrior, congratulations. All right. Yay. You are our very first winner, and you will be receiving those four CD albums. Now, for our second winner. Kyra, are you going to draw it for us? Yep. Who is our second winner? Esther Nicoli. Esther, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the last name, but you are the winner. You yes. are the second winner. Congratulations, of these four Esther. Albums. Congratulations. Guys. All right, and then last, we have one more winner that we're going to draw, and you will also receive those four albums. All right. Last one is. Ashley's Little Nook on YouTube. 
So if you are one of our winners, send us a message with your details and we'll make sure to get those albums in the mail to you. And everyone else, thank you for entering. And wherever you found us, thanks for joining us in this launch of From Pain to Purpose Online. So remember, next week, look for the first music video song. And we won't be doing the weekly vlogs for the launch, but we will be doing the music video next week. We will be doing another special edition vlog that shows the completion of the studio in the near future. But we're looking forward to the content, the message that God has given us that we want to share on a regular basis. We hope you've enjoyed this tour and we will be moving into our house this week and getting prepared for the music video that's coming next week and then we hope to see you again the following week for the next vlog. Until then, live as an overcomer and, and stay, stay in the fight! fight.